You wanted a grocery haul, you're getting one today. Happy Frugal Friday, friends. Welcome back. Hi. I put out a question on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, and one of the first people that wrote me back when I asked, what would you like to see for an upcoming video? From Facebook, Cindy Sanborn said, anything grocery related. So that's what you're gonna get today. I'm gonna show you what I get every single week for groceries. And um, she's not the only one. I've had many people ask me, and I've always kind of hesitated because I'm like, oh, you guys, it's like real basic. But I'll show you anyway. For me, it's just me and my sweet boy, Caden, who's actually filming right now. How you doing, babe? Good. <laughs> I love this. I have my own videographer. You like grocery shopping, Mo? Yeah. Drive that car. Woo! The first footage I'm going to show you are the foods that I have literally every week. Like this is, we get this almost every single time until it's out and then the next time we need it, we're getting that. Uh, some of the essentials are milk, eggs, bread, cheese, I'm not gonna use my hands because we're going off there, peanut butter and jelly, creamer for my coffee and coffee usually. I didn't need coffee this time so you're not gonna see it because I have enough for next week. Um, cereal, bananas, raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, cucumbers. This week we got corn because they had fresh corn so we got that. Avocados for me, beans, and SpaghettiOs for Caden. If you have been with my channel for a while now, you kind of know my style of frugal living. If you're brand new, please know that I know that I'm not the most frugal person ever made. <laughs> I practice frugality, but I consider myself more of like a, not like Great Depression frugality, but more along the lines of like a contemporary frugal. Contemporary frugal, is that a thing? If not, I'm I'm naming it right now. Contemporary frugal. I It's like realistic for 2019, but it's still using things sparingly, wisely, not wasting things, um, and I'm only buying what I actually am going to eat so that I don't have mounds of produce just rotting and I don't have, you know, a big, big stocked pantry of stuff that I'm not using. I don't have freezers full of food. I don't have pantries full of food. I don't have a super stocked fridge with stuff coming out. It's just me and Caden. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't have to have so much excess and we don't. How much do I spend on groceries? I learned this from Jordan Page, big surprise. And when I first heard it, I was like, really? Are you kidding me? But now that I do it, it's just second nature. So she says $100 per person per month starting at $300. So if you're a single person, $300. If you're two people, $300. If you are three people, $300. But then when you get to four, it's $400, five, $500, and so on. So our budget's $300, but we include toilet paper, detergent, all the stuff that is um, used up every month. So I realized I have two cats and that includes buying cat litter, dry food and wet food every month. And I just started to kind of realize like, wait a minute, that's really cutting into the food budget. So for me personally, I added an extra $50 and I didn't for a while, it was just 300 for a while. And I realized I'm like, a lot of this is not food and we need to make sure we have enough food too. So now my, see my cat there. Hey buns. Hey, how you doing? I now do 350 and it swings. Sometimes if I've gotten enough cat litter the month before, maybe I don't have to spend as much, but my budget now is 350 
and that includes toilet paper, tissues, shampoo, conditioner, laundry detergent, all the things that you use, all groceries, everything that you can find at a grocery store. For this video, I did not include the toilet paper, the tissues, that kind of stuff. I just stuck with food. Dish soap, hand soap, body wash, body soap, any household cleaners, everything. What's your grocery budget? Let me know how many people are in your family and how much do you spend a month on groceries? Bonus, if you wanna let me know you think this is reasonable or you'd like to cut back or you'd like to spend more, let me know in the comments. Thanks guys. Oh, and we have a hamster, Coco, <gasps> who's never been seen on camera. You wanna see him? Here he is. Can you guys see him? Hi, the Coco Loco. You guys kinda scared. I got to get under his chin, we scratch under the chin and on the top of the head. Say hi everybody. Hi. Bye Cokes. This is his little wheel he likes to get into. And then he rolls all around. They see me rolling. Okay, the next footage I'm gonna show you is footage of food that I don't get every single week necessarily. They're not staples, they're not must-haves, but they are likely to be found in my groceries. Things like fruit snacks for Caden's lunch, raisins for Caden's lunch, pancake mix, spaghetti and spaghetti sauce, veggie straws, cottage cheese, that's for me, chicken, chicken strips that I cook up on the weekend for my lunches for the week, bacon, tuna fish, mushrooms that go with the chicken that I make. I make a chicken, mushroom, onion. Maybe I'll even do a video of that for you because that's what I'm eating literally right now every single day for lunch. Oh, and I like to get hummus. Mmm, yum. <music> And then I've got nine things that I always have on hand that are just kind of like, you just assume I have them. And that's butter, salt and pepper, cinnamon for like our pancakes, mayonnaise, that could be for sandwiches, but uh, definitely when I have tuna, ketchup, barbecue sauce, teriyaki sauce, and lastly, oil. So that's nine things that I always have. Um, I think I have extra virgin olive oil when I cook. You know, because I cook so often. I am cooking a little more these days and I feel pretty proud of that. As you can see, the only meat we have in here in this, uh, in our normal groceries is chicken and bacon. I don't buy steak, I don't buy burgers, I usually just have that if I'm out or if I'm at, you know, someone's house or something and they make that, I'll have that, but I don't buy it uh, to cook in our own house. And no, I'm not a vegetarian, I do eat meat quite often, I just prefer to not purchase a lot of meat and a lot of our meals are vegetarian actually, now that I think about it. I have a little bit of meat in, like I said, like I'll have bacon with my breakfast or my lunch is chicken, but a lot of things we eat don't have meat. So again, these are my things that I buy all the time so that I know we have a meal that we can eat. I buy different stuff every week, like, you know, in addition to that, you know, to, you know, change it up. We might try different vegetables, we might do different fruits, we might do different kinds of pasta or sandwiches or you know sometimes we'll get do quesadillas as well get some tortillas for that but we basically stick to those staples like if you're asking like what do you get every week that first footage is what I always almost always buy and have on hand so that we have food so when I was watching Jordan's video I was just like wow I mean that's a ton of food to have on hand but again she has eight family members and they have guests over a lot. Uh, so everybody's situation is going to be different. You might be watching this 
and you're, you're the only mouth you have to feed. So I just try to keep it as simple as possible. I feel like my grocery shopping is very simple and we don't have any special dietary needs. I don't buy all organic or anything like that. So it's kind of just very basic. Try to get all our nutrients in. I know you could be way more frugal or you could be way less frugal. But if you were asking and you were asking, what does Kate buy? That's what we buy. And I feel like I've talked about my lunch on Instagram several times because to me it's just so delicious. And you guys might be like, okay, cooking 101, but you're talking to Kate here. It is cooking 101. <laughs> I bake some chicken, I marinate it a little, and I add some veggies to it. And to me, it's so good. I, I will do a video for you guys. You can see my, my weekly lunch. That's what I eat every single day. I'll show you everything. And now is your turn. If you could only buy, I'm really gonna like narrow it down. If you could only buy five groceries per week, that's all you could buy, five, one hand. Let me know in the comments what you would buy. If you could only buy five items at the grocery store for the week to get by and actually sort of enjoy your food, five things, let me know down below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the red button. And if you want notifications for when I upload next, please hit the bell. And of course, share if this could be useful to someone else that you know. Thank you so much, guys. Have an awesome weekend. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.